So we're going to talk today about the concept of double sickling, which is really an old term, and it's used sometimes for, it's used, in, used most commonly for uh, sinusitis infections, people who have like a cold and all of a sudden they get a high fever and get sicker, and that's called double sickling, but this term's probably been around for 100 years, you know. But it's also something that happens with pneumonia, and so, uh, and, and he's the, your child's the second child today, the other one just left, that had the same sort of thing that has a series of, you know, cold symptoms for um, a week or so, and then all of a sudden they get a fever and they act sicker and, and more toxic. And so based on that, based on some, what I heard on auscultation, we went ahead and got an x-ray, and the x-ray to us looks like there's some evidence of a, of a pneumonia. It's not a low bar pneumonia, it's kind of a more of a, um, a streaky type pneumonia, but it, could, but, but it still could be viral or it could be bacterial. You can't really tell by looking at the x-ray 100%. So I'm gonna treat it as if it's a bacterial pneumonia. So how, how many days did he have the cold symptoms going on? Um, seven days. Seven days, okay. And then what happened? Then what happened? Um, and then um, about Thursday, three days ago, she started developing that fever. It's a she. I've she. been saying he. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's that hat. <laughs> I couldn't see the, the beautiful long hair. All right, so, so she, um, three days ago, developed a fever and was acting sicker. Yes. All right, and that's kind of what brought you into the emergency department today. Correct. And she seemed to be, uh, was she complaining of anything else? Uh, not really. She just more wheezy and more coffee. And lay, laying around more, laying Tired, around more. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, so thanks. You know, these end up on YouTube, but you're okay with that? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Well, thank you so much.